Hello everyone, I'm Tara, the dance doctor. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm teaching you more Kisomba basic step patterns and hip actions. The first part of this video is dedicated to learning just the footwork, and the second part of the video, I explain the hip actions that go along with the steps that we've learned. After my first Kisomba basics video, I got some comments saying that Kisomba is not a Latin dance, and that is true. Kisomba, although it gets lumped together a lot of times with salsa and bachata, which are Latin dances, Kisomba is from Angola, so it is an African dance. Um, so I just wanted to mention that because I did not mention it in the first class, and I think it's important to know where the dances that we're doing are coming from. I do, however, use what I call basic Latin motion principles when I'm teaching kisomba, which I also use when I'm teaching swing or other genres of dancing that aren't Latin either. It's just a helpful tool for learning how to move our knees and hips when we are dancing. Um, so I do reference that in this video as well. I just wanted to make sure that you all know, even though we are using what I call a Latin knee and hip action, um, that Kisomba is indeed an African dance style. We're gonna get right into the lesson. I just wanna remind you to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the post notifications so you can see when I upload more stuff like this. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Dance Doctor Online and tag me in your videos if you followed this lesson and you enjoyed it. Now let's get dancing. Okay, let's get right into this second Kisomba Basics video lesson. Today's lesson is going to be all about rock steps. So we're gonna do three different step patterns that require that we rock our weight back and forth between our feet in different directions. I'll teach the steps first, and then I'll teach the hip actions, and you can find all of the sections of the video in the timestamps below. So let's get right into our first step of the day. So we're just looking at the foot pattern, and all it is is rock to the side and come back together and then rock to the other side and come back together side together side together in this particular pattern it doesn't matter if you start with your right or your left foot we're just getting used to rocking out to the side bringing our weight back to the foot we came from and then stepping and changing the weight so i can step out to the other side Okay, so I'll do that facing the way once I go out and together, out and together, out and together, out and together. So it bears mentioning, uh, as I said in the first Kisomba Basics video, when we take steps in Kisomba, we do want to slightly lift our foot off the ground before we step and I'm stepping with the ball of my foot first and then the heel comes down. This doesn't have to be too dramatic. We don't have to go into like a forced arch. It's just the ball is hitting the floor first and then the heel, ball, heel, and I'm lifting my foot slightly in each step. Now, when I do rocking actions, which is what this video is all about, I'm going to keep my feet on the floor. So when I initially step out, for example, in the first figure that I've given us, I'm lifting the foot, I come back without lifting up. So I'm not gonna go one, two, yeah? I'm gonna lift on the way out, but because I'm coming back, I'm gonna keep this foot grounded on the floor, and then I'll lift this foot to bring it back. So I only lift my foot when it's changing location. If my feet are staying in the same place and I'm just rocking back and forth, that means I'm gonna keep my feet on the ground. So now let's just try that with music. and then a back 
the side and a back rock in the other direction. So it looks like this. Side, rock, step, side. Rock, step, side, rock, step, side, rock, step. Okay, I'll do that facing away. I'm going to start on my right, but like I said in the first step, it doesn't really matter which foot we start on. So I'm going to go side, rock, come back, side, rock, come back, side. And remember, don't worry about the hips or the knees or anything at this moment. In the second part of the video, I'm going to cover the hip actions. Right now, we're just worried about getting the step pattern correctly. As you can see, after I step to the side, I'm rotating my body about an eighth of a turn in the direction of the foot that's stepping back. So I open up a little bit, I rock back onto my front foot, and I step to the side. Open and side. Open and side. Open and side. Open and side. Now let's try that one with music. over 
one side and then the other. Slide. I feel this right away in my center because I'm not using any other muscle to create this. So I'm not doing my knee bending and straightening. I'm not changing the position of my spine as it relates to uh, my feet. I'm keeping everything in place and just using the abdominal muscles to move the hips side to side. Okay? The next exercise we're going to do is we're going to create a tiny lift um, in one side of the pelvis without lifting the heels off the ground. Again, keeping everything right in the middle. I'm going to use my obliques to lift, lift. So as you can see, this is a tiny movement. I'm just trying to create a tiny little tilt in the pelvis. It's not going to be super noticeable, but we're just kind of warming up these muscles in the side body that are going to help us move our hips when we're using um, this action in the step. So now let's do the other side and we go lift, two, three, four. Again, this is a small movement. You're not going to feel a big change. The point is, if you can do this in front of a mirror, to just see a slight tilt in the pelvis, okay? So now we're going to combine those two actions and we're going to do lift, slide over, lift, slide over. And now I'm going to let you change your weight just slightly when you slide the hip over. So I go lift, slide, 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 and lift, slide. We want to make sure that we don't start just using the rib cage. So you see, this is very different than the movement I was just doing because my hips are staying still and my rib cage is moving. While it does, this movement does have the illusion of displacing the rib cage, I'm actually trying to keep them pretty much in place as I do this. But because my hip is moving, it looks as though my rib cage is going over, but I really want to try and generate the movement from uh, the, the midsection below the rib cage. So now we're going to add that action on top of our basic uh, Latin knee and hip action. So if I have my feet here where they were and I do my bending and straightening of the knee, which naturally tilts my pelvis, I'm going to go here, and then I, as I start to straighten this knee, I'm going to lift the hip like I did when my knees were straight and slide it over. And then I bend this leg, lift, slide, bend, lift, slide, bend, lift, slide. So you can see this crunching action and then sliding the hip over. Step, lift, slide. Step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, okay? So this is a hip action that's pretty specific to Kisomba. So now we're going to see if we can apply that to the first step pattern that we learned today. So when I rock out to the side, I'm going to go step and uh, step and uh, together. And when I bring my feet together, I'm going to do a pelvic circle in the direction of the foot that I'm stepping on. So in this case, it's my right. So I'll do it facing away. I go step, lift, slide. Step, lift, slide, and circle. And other side. Step, lift, slide. Step, lift, slide, circle. To the left that time. Step, lift, slide. Step, lift, slide, circle.
So to get prepared for that, I just want you to put one foot behind and one foot in front, and we're gonna do the same exercise that we did, the lift and slide the hip. And again, it's gonna feel different because the hip is still going to the side even though my feet are not to the side. So I find this one is usually a little bit more difficult in the beginning um, because our body wants to send everything in the same direction and now we're not. So I'm going lift, slide the hip to the side. Lift, slide, lift, slide, lift, slide, lift, slide. And now using the knees to help us get a, a fuller movement. So I go step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, bending the knee, bend the knee, and move the hip. Yeah, and now let's do that on the other side. So I go lift, slide first, not getting the knees involved, just using the obliques and the other abdominal muscles, the muscles in the back, to create this movement. Now adding the knee. Step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, step, lift, slide, step, and, step, and, step, and, step, and. Okay? So now let's apply that to the step pattern in which we step out to the side, back, forward, side, back, forward, side.
simply going to do the steps in the order that we learned them. So I'm going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to step back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So I'll do the whole thing facing away from you a couple times and then we'll give it a shot with music. So we start with our rock out to the side. And I go one, two, three, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Side and back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. much for joining me for today's lesson. Leave a comment below and let me know how you did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications for my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram at Dance Doctor Online. Until next time, keep dancing.